Hi, I'm Luni from BitLuni's lab and today on Electromaker we are going to build a robot arm. Ah! The arm is made from simple servo motors and 3D printed parts. It's controlled by a few sensors attached to your arm. A more or less sophisticated code calculates the servo angles from the orientation of the sensors. I admit it's not Terminator level robotics, but it's a nice start experimenting what's possible to achieve with some simple RC parts. It can move in 5 degrees of freedom and grab things using a simple gripper. With the sensors attached to the arm, it's quite intuitive to control. The robot arm just tries to mimic your movements. <laughs> to rebuild it, you will need several parts. As microcontroller, we take the Wemos D1 Mini. With the Wi-Fi capabilities, it could be used to control the arm remotely at a later stage. Then we need some sensors. I'm using two GY521 gyro boards, a GY511 for the compass capabilities and a linear Hull effect sensor with analog output to sense the proximity to a magnet. A PWM extension board is used to drive the six Metal Gear servo motors, four strong MG996R and two lightweight MG90S. In addition to that, we need a few 3D printed parts small ball bearings, nuts and bolts, some utilities and a thick 5V power supply. I started this project by designing the robot arm using Blender. The shoulder first and worked my way down the kinematic chain to the hand. Having the servos as 3D models from previous projects was quite useful. You can find all the resources on the project page linked below. After all model parts were ready, I started to print them. This gives enough time to explain my approach of the sensor control. There are three sensors measuring the acceleration. At the upper arm, lower arm and the wrist. The hull sensor at the thumb just controls the gripper. Gravity is an acceleration pointing downwards. Reading the acceleration vectors, we can calculate the angles between the limbs and the gravity. We use these to set the angles of the joints. Since the joints are relative to the ones up the kinematic chain, we have to calculate the relative angles. The relative elbow pitch is easily calculated by subtracting the shoulder pitch. The shoulder is the first joint here, so we can simply take the measured value. The wrist is the most complicated one, since we have to measure a few vectors there even affected by the lower arm roll. The yaw of the arm can only be measured using a compass, since it's perpendicular to the gravity. It has to be measured at the wrist to get the best deflection. But the responsible joint on the robot arm sits at the shoulder. So we have to subtract out any transformation happened in between. In the function calculate angles of the code, all angles are calculated and the transformations are done using some matrix multiplications. Ok, we take a break now by soldering some pin headers and making extension cords from old USB cables. Nice! Now let's check how the wiring looks like. The microcontroller uses I2C to talk to the most of the components. The first GY521 sensor connects ground to the address pin and the second one VCC to get different addresses. The GY511 does not have a special configuration. The hull effect sensor is connected to ground, VCC and to the analog pin of the microcontroller. The PWM board also uses I2C, but requires an additional power source to deliver enough current to the servo motors. After testing, I decided to transfer the flimsy breadboard setup to a perf board which isn't very complicated. Just a few wires and pin headers. After all the 3D printing is done, it's finally time to assemble the robot arm. 
the ball bearings are press fitted in place. The opening on the other side leaves enough clearance for it to rotate freely. The servo fits snugly in place and can be screwed tight. The servo arms are not needed but can be used to center the servo position before attaching the next part to the axis. A bolt and a lock nut are used on the other side of the servo. The bolt will sit in the bearing. The new part has to be screwed really tight to the servo. Use Loctite if possible. Now the bolt on the other side can be screwed in and holds everything in place. The rest works the same. The upper arm needs to be mounted in this order to be able to access all bolts. The gripper consists of two small servos, the cogs and some levers. After everything was mounted I wanted to give the gripper more grip. Instead of designing and printing some rubber parts I simply took a bit silicone sealant and shaped it in place. It took a night to cure but I was really surprised by the outcome. The next step was to screw the arm to a spare wooden board. I placed the PWM board close by, attached the power connector and connected the servos starting from the shoulder. Some jumper wire helped to extend the servo connections which were too short. Since I had to fix the sensors to my arm I printed some holders which use a rubber band. Small boards with pin headers are used for convenience to attach the sensors and the cables. Small rubber band pockets are used to hold the Hall effect sensor and the magnet in place. Now that all sensors are ready as well, the microcontroller board can be fixed in place and connected to the PWM board. Let's finally test it. The movements of the arm really match my movements as long I don't move too fast. After all, it's acceleration based to get a gravity direction. Let's try to grab the pen. Oops, wrong item. No, seriously, here's the real first recording of grabbing something. However, the compass seems not to be very reliable. Maybe you have some ideas how to track the arm movements best. Tell me in the comments. Apart from that, it's a fun toy.
let's draw some art. And that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I did. Find all the build details and the files on the project page on Electromaker.io and if you sign up there you get the chance to win some cool swag like this t-shirt and other cool stuff. And while you're there, check out the board guide for the right board for your next project. Subscribe to this channel to not miss any upcoming interesting projects or check out my previous projects like the lightsaber and the smart LED lamp. See you next time. Bye! <laughs>